This video content is not intended for children. All right, so I'm back at the pond. This time, I'm going for bluegill. Let's see if I can get a bite. I know there are some bluegill in here. I just don't know how many or how big they are. So let's see if they'll go for a honey worm. Here's the jar of power bait honey worms. These were sent into the show, I think sometime last year. I'll tear one off and show you guys what it looks like. Yeah, it's like a caterpillar kind of, right? The other times I've used these locally near my house, I used half of one. But I'm going to try the whole thing, see how that goes first. I'm just going to thread it on here like this. That's it. I'm fishing that under a float with no weight. I just want it to slowly sink down, entice those fish. Let's see if I can get a bite on this. Got one. First cast, right away. Just a little guy, little bluegill here. I'll show him off in the sun. Yeah, easy. Just a little guy here. Let's toss him back in. Well, that was easy and fast. First cast, got one. Just a little guy. Hopefully we can find some bigger bluegill. But they are in here and they seem hungry. Had a little nibble there. Just watching that bobber. Got him. Just a little guy. Once again, tiny, tiny. <laughs> that one is so small. That's like a two and a half inch bluegill. This would be a great place to come learn how to catch bluegill. Or if you got kids and you're at this cabin hanging out, coming up here for some bluegill fishing. I can vouch for it already. I caught two fish in less than five minutes. I'm having a good time. Might even catch something bigger. Catfish, bass, hopefully some big bluegills. I don't know, we'll see. There's a bite. Do I got him? Oh my God, another tiny, tiny bluegill here. I mean, that is really small. Let's walk down here, see if I can kind of cast parallel to the bank. See if I can find some bigger fish. There's one, just another little tiny one, I think. Sure is, that's so small. I don't think so. Hey guys, it's Ramir Malipena here in Chattanooga. You're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. All right, now that I know they will go for it, I need to formulate a plan to find some larger bluegill. Do I try out there in the middle? Do I try over here in the shallow corner? What would you guys do? Maybe over there by that tree hanging in the water? I don't know, let's toss one out to the middle and see if I get a bigger one out there. It's a little bit deeper. There might, ooh, I had a bite. It's a little bit deeper. There might be some bigger fish out there. I don't know. This is like the second time I've been to this pond. I came here on a mini staycation 
a few months ago there's a fish just to check it out and I had a good time so I decided to come back yeah not much bigger so even out there in the middle we got these three to five inch bluegills five is a is being really generous for this guy he's probably like closer to three and a half four fish man this one's so small all right same thing tiny little bluegill this one looks colorful all right we're gonna head down that way hopefully I can find something bigger Oh, not getting a ton of bites out here. They must really like that corner over there. Small bluegill corner. Ooh, nibble. Fish, I got one. So small I didn't even know. Get out of the grass. Wow, that might be the smallest one yet. Look at that thing. Look at this guy. It's like two inches. Let's keep moving. Oh man, I'm in the grass. Fish. Oh, I had a nibble. There's one. Come on, stuck in the grass. Just a tiny guy. Don't get tangled up now. <laughs> yeah, so this would be good for kids. You know, I'm enjoying myself. Wow, look at my honey worm. After catching, what, six tiny fish, it's pretty much just shredded. Let's see if I can manipulate it enough to just get it on the hook. Maybe I can catch another one. Yeah, that's wild. What's up, guys? This is Jordan from Dude Fish TV, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Let's just try five feet in front of me. fish <laughs> slightly better it's probably the biggest bluegill of the day but that ain't saying much <laughs> got a better grip on it there we go all right well let's keep heading this way we're still on that quest to find some bigger bluegill Or something. Fish. Another small fish. I'm 
Well, one thing is clear, there are tons of small bluegill in here. And that rhymes. Look at this guy. Just a year old or something. They're really small. You know, if I was fishing for catfish bait or something like that, this would be awesome. I'd be all stocked up right now. All right, we're putting the little hook back. I'm gonna put the bobber in my pocket. But what should we go with? Well, I got this topwater popper here. You ever fish for bluegill with one of these? I wonder if this could get any attention over here. Let's get it tied on. This says Johnson, right? This is some kind of small Johnson spoon. I got it from my trout and panfish box. I like to keep a small variety of spinners and spoons, little poppers, flies, grubs, trout magnets, this kind of thing. So yeah, here's what I'm going with. Small Johnson spoon. Ooh, thought I had a bite there. Bluegill or something chased it down. You know, this looks like a minnow. I might get a bass. Who knows what might go for this. Thought I just had another nibble. I might be getting some nibbles. That or I'm catching the bottom. Fish. Fish. Hey, biggest bluegill of the evening right here. Changing it up, got me a bigger fish. It's not a huge bluegill by any means, but it's the biggest one of the evening. Yeah, five inch bluegill. Got him on this little spoon. Spoon fishing in a pond. It's pretty cool. What is going on guys? I'm Rush, this is Little Miss Rowdy, Ronda Rousey for Rush Forest Outdoors, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Always keep it realistic. Now all I need is a bass. Fish. Oh, just the fish I was trying to get away from. This tiny bluegill hit the spoon. Is that wild? He must be hungry. Fish. Another halfway decent bluegill. At least compared to what I have been catching. Yeah, so the honeyworm is producing, but so is this spoon, and the spoon is getting slightly bigger fish. Nothing huge, but a little better. We're going to stick with the spoon for a while. Whoa! Was that a bass? What was that? Whoa! That was bananas. There's a fish. Another bluegill. Yeah, one of those slightly better four to five inch bluegill. My mind is still on that swipe. I thought something swiped at it. I thought I saw a big flash down there. Holy cow. Anyway, here's this guy. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to check my drag. If I hooked into that big fish, 
I think that would have snapped me off. I got a loop on my line right here. I'm going to try and walk that out. I don't like that. I don't like that. Wow, look how far up the spool it is. There, that's where it was. Look at that. <laughs> it was like 20 feet of line. I don't even know how I got the loop on the spool that far away. Yeah, so this spoon is really small. You know, I would say somewhere around a sixteenth of an ounce. It's not lead, right? It's just a really thin little piece of metal. So you gotta kinda, you gotta chuck it to get it out there. Can you hear the sound it makes when I cast? Well, I don't know if they're just fish. Holy cow. I was just about to say, I don't know if they're tired of this bait or what. And then I got this. Now this is the biggest bluegill of the evening. This is a nice one here. Wow, he's hooked well too. Let's see if I can get this. There's one. There's two. There we go. Yeah, finally, this is what I came out here for. That's a nice bluegill right there. So we got about a six inch bluegill. Nice color. This is that more fully mature and adult bluegill here. You can see the color difference. Good looking fish. My name is Dewey Cash and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Well, that was pretty awesome. I came out here to catch some bluegill, and I definitely did. I caught a bunch of them on the honeyworm, right? They were all pretty tiny. Then I switched to that small Johnson spoon. I got a hit from something real big, probably a bass. And I caught one six inch bluegill. The rest were pretty small. Anyway, thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.